Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm about to do your reading for November 6th through November 12th. This is for the sign of Leo. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. This may or may not resonate with you, because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. So if it doesn't resonate, maybe um, next time it will, I'm not sure. Maybe bits and pieces will, you know, maybe bits and pieces won't. That's just the way it is. This is the sign. This is for the sign of Leo. Weekly love reading. I will zoom this in when I'm done laying out the cards. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. I'm not doing reversals. I consider the reversals in every single card. I have to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. All right, I'm going to zoom that in. And I'm reminding you because people have been stealing my videos, posting them as their own. And if I, I download another you know uh, thing to put a, I have to edit my video if I edit my video it takes that much longer so I'm just not gonna do that anyhow the basis of your reading is the six of Pentacles alright so that tells me that you're seeking balance this week either you are feeling very balanced or you're seeking balance it looks like many of you are starting a new phase in your life it could be beginning this week it could have already happened or it could be in your near future I see you've been working very, very hard to bring this balance back, okay? It looks like um, you've been moving forward. You've been making progress. I think you've been listening. You've been listening to your higher power, and you've been listening to your inner guide. I think you're releasing negative thoughts, many of you, this week. You're releasing drama. You're having more faith. Um, you're on a roll, okay? I see that many of you are going with the flow, Um Congratulations, it looks really, really good. It looks like you guys have, many of you have refocused, really refocused. And if you haven't, this could be the week where you take the time to go within. I mean, you may decide that you need a few days or even a day, just a period of time to refocus, to go within, a period of solitude to reconnect with your soul, you know, to figure out a plan, whatever the case may be for you. If you haven't done that already, that could be happening this week where you just need a little bit of time to regroup, okay? I do see that you guys have really taken control of a situation really, really in a big way. It's taken a lot of hard work, but I think you're starting a new phase, all right? A new phase, a big new phase. It's like one phase of your life has ended and you're about to start another one. And I think the phase, the last phase that you were in, there was right towards the end, it was very negative. But I think the negative influence are, is the negative influences are gone. Okay, I think you've pushed them aside. You've re you whereas before you were um, resisting change. I don't believe you are anymore. I think that you're you're thinking more along the lines of compassion and love rather than. Um, despair and depression you know I think that there's been a big shift here okay I see that many of you have taken action all right and because you've done that there could be a new magnetic attraction between you and another okay we do have the lovers card here so I think there is some somebody either in your life now or somebody that could be coming in that and the attraction will be quite strong okay this could be a Gemini, it could be a Virgo, it could be an Aries, it could be a Leo, it could be a Sagittarius. Um, we have Aries a couple times. Um, we have Gemini a couple times. We have Gemini three times, as a matter of fact. We have Libra and Aquarius as well. Um, we also have Taurus, okay? So anyway, I, it really looks to me like you guys are replacing your, your thoughts and you're bringing a lot of balance back to your life. And I think that you, it's more, um, your thoughts are more um, balanced out, okay? I think in the past, this is the shift. I think you're shifting from negative to balance, okay? Um, I'm going to start shuffling. 
I think you've struggled through something very big, and if you haven't, you are this week. I think many of you are looking at something from a new perspective. Um, you're no longer resisting change. You're ready for the change. You're ready for your new chapter. You're ready for your new success. You're ready for this completion. And you're actually working towards it. It's like, you know what? I'm done with that shit. I'm done with it, okay? I think, and that, what that does is it brings in um, more love. It brings you more love because your vibrancy comes back. So if you're single, there's a darn good chance that somebody could show up out of the blue, all right? If you are coupled, there could be a resurgence in a relationship where the attraction reunites, okay? This is for Leo. Um, I see that there's a um, very impulsive, lusty energy here. If you are single, you may meet somebody at work. Okay, I'm just saying this is for the sign of Leo and this may or may or may, or may not resonate with everybody because it's for hundreds and thousands of people. But for somebody watching this, there's a sexual attraction between you and another. Could be somebody that you work with. Okay, um, just saying. Look at that, beautiful. This week could also be about money. You could be receiving a gift of money or you could be giving a gift of money, okay? So if you've been expecting some money, it could arrive this week or you see you could be giving some money to somebody that needs it, okay? Because I see that that could certainly be the case. Money is in the situation this week. It's, um, it's part of your life, put it that way. I mean, it's part of everybody's life, but significantly, whereas... You are either very balanced with your finances, where you may be feeling like giving some of it away, you may be feeling like giving, or you may be getting, okay? I do see good luck is on the way, good fortune, all right? Along with the Six of Pentacles and this Ten of Pentacles and this Eight of Pentacles, I mean, we have a lot of money here. So somebody is either giving money or receiving money, so I'm not sure who this is for, but I do see that it's your turn. Okay, it's your turn. This is um, a change of course for you, a big one with the Wheel of Fortune and the World card. Many of you are starting a major new chapter in your life. It could be in regards to a move of home, a change in your home, or a change of career, or a raise in your job. Okay, so I, I do, I definitely see something along the lines of money where there's like some kind of increase where perhaps you are even able to give. Okay. Some of you still have some regrets within, within a relationship, okay? But I think that's what part of what you're releasing. You're letting go of um, any um, past hurts, okay? You are. You're not going to keep that drama in the back of your head. You're no longer going to feed off of it. It looks like you're just releasing it to me. You're following your inner guide, okay? You're listening to your higher power, um, I see that you want to love and you're you're acting more out of love than negativity. That's what I see. I think this is a week of a positive um, good luck, okay? Good fortune is on your side. It's just a very positive week. I see wish fulfillment and I think that wish fulfillment comes from you letting go of something that was that you regret. Okay, letting go of a loss, letting go of a hurt, letting go of something. It brings you peace, okay? It brings you serenity, all right? Because you're accepting the truth, okay? It feels like many of you have just changed your thinking like 360 degrees, okay? That's what it looks like to me. And because of that, you may be getting more love from another person, all right? More attention, you're vibrating more high, higher, higher, sorry. Um, really, I don't think there's any um, confusion going on in your head. Not much, maybe a, a sliver, okay? But it feels like you're, you're having a lot of clarity this week and you've worked hard to remove the fog, okay? I see that you have. And because you have, um, there's a lot of excitement. Okay, you've removed the fog, you're feeling good, you're on top of the world, you know, you may be receiving money, enough so that you can give some money, okay, and there could be changes in your home, changes in your work, whatever, there's a lot of abundance and security here this week, and because of that, there's excitement, 
all right? It looks beautiful, all right? You've taken action, and I think the universe is working in your favor, Leo, all right? For many of you, you could be connecting with a soulmate this week, or you already have, okay? I just happened to see that at the bottom of the deck. It's definitely has something to do with a partnership that will be more at peace. It will be more balanced. There won't be much strife this week if you are in a partnership because the negativity is like almost totally dissolved. Okay? This is for the sign of Leo and this is an Archangel Michael card. Ooh, that's a good one. It says, be gentle with yourself. My prayer, Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do and that is exactly what you're doing before you even got this card but i'm gonna start it over archangel michael please guide me in treating myself with gentle nurturing love in everything i think speak and do help me know that i deserve this compassion i release any feelings of guilt to you so that i may experience lasting inner peace <laughs> this is the story of your week right here so that's what I have for you Leo November 6th to November 12th 2017 and this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot